Welcome everyone, welcome to another episode of Antics Replays. And here I am in my brand new WZ131 Tier 7 Chinese light tank. And I've had a couple of games in it so far, and I'm really liking it. What you're about to see is typical of the sort of games I've been having in this tank. The speed, the mobility, the gun, I don't have the top gun yet. But it looks like this 85mm gun, which is the second uh, second last gun, is actually performing extremely well. Fast reload, uh, hits reasonably reasonably hard for a, for a light tank, and is fairly accurate. I don't have 6 cents set on this tank, so I was probably spotted there. So I won't poke out just yet. Got to make sure that I'm no longer spotted before I get up there. You can see from the traverse speed, this tank is really good. It, uh, it seems to be able to get all over the place quite quickly. Spot the T28 part. T28 takes a nice big chunk of artillery. If she pokes out there, I'm not tempted at all to shoot him. I would just give away my cover unnecessarily. And as good as this gun is, it's not going to pen the T28 prod from the front. So I, 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 I play a waiting game. I'm a bit patient and I wait it out. Nice, very nice, nice. With our binoculars activated, um, I've got. 500 meters view range. A bit of an overkill, but it certainly gives me an advantage over incoming light tanks or stealthy tanks who are just at the edges of the 445 meter maximum draw range. There are these two tanks back there, as well as an LTTB on the right. So, one thing about light tanks I've found is that you've really got to be patient and wait for momentum to be on your side. Wait for an opportunity. Wait for an opportunity. And when you can, take it. So this T25, what's he doing? What's he doing? Woo! And that's the opportunity I was looking for. Doesn't look like the fire Sugusha. I was spotted. I look for the killing blow. He hasn't repaired yet. A bit of his tank still showing. And unfortunately, the shot just can't get in there. But the TJ-5 is mortally wounded. And I'll bet that fire really messed up his internal organs. So the team is losing. But I feel that on the field, we do have some momentum. Looking for the shot. This guy is not going to peek out again, is he? LTTB makes a hero run. Who wants to join him? Takes a hit. Then I realize it's time. SV1C is gone. I'm gonna make a run for it too. They've lost their spotter in the middle of the park. T25 looks one shot. I'm gonna go for him. I messed it up a bit. If I manage to maintain my momentum. Ooh, this C-38 fire. Very nicely done. So as you can see, that's what I was talking about. What about momentum, light tank takes advantage momentum. The T-25 was only wounded. All it took was one shot to kill it. So I raced over and took my chances and hit him. This Lorraine is looking at the wrong way. And here comes an easy kill. For this excellent gun. Not sure what I want to take on the Panther. But it's like, nah. Many more juicy targets over here. I look for an opportunity where I can fire without being spotted. 
Don't go for it yet. As you can see, the gun does respond quite well. He loads quickly and fires reasonably accurately when it's aimed in. I'm on 17 health left. Can't really make any moves. But I decided to flank around. Give these heavy tanks something to worry about. Besides the two heavy tanks in front. Look for the shot. Gonna come around. We get taken out. Ice tree is very low health, I know that for a fact. Does he have it? Oh! Space armor. And I loaded a heat round for that. No, 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 no. That's not gonna work at all. Ice tree and I go merry go rounds. And I use my greater mobility to get around and away. Does look like an ice tree. Get taken out with quick. Shank that shot somehow. And that's the game. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I've really enjoyed I really enjoyed this tank. And you know, if you're thinking about picking it up, trust me, I recommend it highly. See you again next time.